He just grabs you behind <laughs> and then pats it. Often the nearest fella gets the blame, but it's happened too often when there was no one else around. We've also had a few glasses flying off the shelves, but he's a really friendly ghost. <laughs> Bo's a killer. Bo is. <laughs> He's a killer. He's a murderer. <laughs> it were oh. near suicide. It were murder. If you'd said to me penis all was a thrush cream, yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> right, get your penis all on. Get your penis all on. Welcome to episode 48 of... Ghost Arms! <laughs> I had one shot. I was just getting a bit too... We, we, yeah, one thing, Gareth. I had one we thing. Need, you had one job. But it was those, no, it was those sexy tones. Yeah, very dull. Ghost Arms. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, Hans, we've got the incredible Gareth, the mind behind Hunsnet, the absolutely stunning Gareth in the studio. Hello, babe. Hi, Gorge. How are you? Oh, my God. Technically, so... our God. Yeah, <laughs> we, we bow are down. No, 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 no. We bow down. We bow down. Basically, for anyone who's ever thought, ghost Huns, what does that mean? Maybe our American listeners, maybe they don't know what a Hun is. Maybe they don't know what and a And if you is. don't, Gary, can you tell us what, what is a Hun? Oh, God. How long's this? Have you got? An, <laughs> back up, got back up the service, Huns. Uh, <laughs> huns, uh, anybody can be a Hun. Uh, pop culture obsessed, like a laugh with your mates, bottomless brunch with the girls. That's what I like about Hun mm, culture, yeah. is anyone can be a Hun. And I like to think there's a bit of Hun in all of us. Yeah. Well, That's the Christmas have message. You, uh, have you got a bit of Hun? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> Just got home. Had a bit of hun in me last night. I had a bit of hun in me last night. Dear Tuesday Lake House Okay, so this is going to be a filthy episode and I'm all, I'm here for it. Um, Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, not no. at all. Don't apologise. So you must get a lot of like people hunning everything? Oh, God, yeah. You can hun almost everything. Mm. Almost mm. everything. There are some things which can't be hunned, like... Well, let's not talk about that now, but... No, yeah. 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 As um, we spoke about before, yeah. Yeah, save that for the Patreon. Some things... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to pay to hear the bad shit. Yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can hun most things, yeah. And what I love about it is is being a hun and this whole hun, hun culture... I can't even say it. Hun <laughs> culture thing is... It's just the lighter way of looking at life, you know. Mm-hmm. If you like to have a bit of a laugh, haha. Yeah. You know, and you've got a good group of friends and you don't mind having the piss taken out of you and you can take the piss out of everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. You can be a bit of a hun. I think that's it. And that's how it was kind of born because we were drinking a lot of champagne. Yes. Just being absolute huns. Yeah. And that's when we were like, we like spooky stuff, but we also like bubbles. Hon- honestly, the bubbles <laughs> yeah. get me dead spooky. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> yeah I just need just some got, bubbles. We just got battered, didn't we? Yeah, we were like, should we do a podcast? Yeah, should we do a case? Yeah, should we do a case? Yeah, should we have another bottle of champagne? <laughs> and, it was, and then the next day, none of us no, like, were too polite to go back on it. So here we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we just so you're both that. enabling each other. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we <laughs> do. Exactly. It's a very toxic relationship, actually, isn't it? I really? love a toxic relationship. Well, I'm fine yeah, with it. toxic is fine. Yeah, no, I think it's great. Like the rest of my life is fairly stable and balanced, so this one can, this be, can be mentally yeah. um, distressing. So, Huns aside, tell us: Do you believe <laughs> in life after love? In life, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is the big question. <laughs> do you believe in life after love and <laughs> ghosts? Um, yes, I do. I've been thinking about this a lot. Um, because I knew I was coming on and I was thinking about paranormal activities that I've heard about, been involved with, seen. And there's like, there's two instances in my life where I've been like, ooh. ooh. I was there. Yeah. Oh my God, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> and one of them, <laughs> one oh. of them was um, on the night of the Brit Awards in the 90s. Um, of course it was. <laughs> it was the year that- So on brand. It was the year that Brian Harvey broke his leg and he was doing Let It Rain in a wheelchair and a cast. You, that, I'm sorry, but you can't get more. Is that East 15? East 17. It, sorry. <laughs> oh my East God. East 15 is the drama school. Sorry. <laughs> East 17. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Go on. What yeah. happened? Well, the, the, um, that was the year um, it was. Um, and I used to share a bedroom with my brother. Um, bunk beds. We used to make dens a lot. It was fun. Um, and um, it was the night of the Brit Awards. I always remember it. Um, I went to bed that night, got up in the middle of the night um, to go downstairs to get a drink. Um, went into the living room. Obviously, I think the hallway light was on, opened the door. And then the TV, 
It was one of these big old TVs. It didn't come on, but in the corner of the TV, it was like some sort of medieval scripture just in the corner. What? Yeah. That's even weirder than the whole TV turning on. Yeah. What do you mean medieval? It was just, it was a bit like, it was a bit like a scroll, but it was just in the corner of the... Of, like of Lord the, of the Rings. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly what that. Oh my gosh. Um, so that's 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 kind of paranormally, but then I used to work at Pontins, which was a whole and paranormal incredible. experience. Yeah, yeah. That was the true horror. That was the true horror. No, I loved working at Pontins. Um and um we used to have a bar there called the Queen Vic, very on brand as well. Um and basically it was the place where all the adults used to take the kids in like two o'clock in the morning in the push chair, push them like that and sing along on karaoke. <laughs> and I remember they had this outdoor bit um which uh, everybody used to go out and smoke um, and, and, and drink until the early hours. Mm. And there was these three um, guests there and they were like, beckoned me over, called me over and they went, have a look up there. Come and have a look up oh, there. Oh, I don't know if I'd look up there if someone at Pontins told me to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's like, when they well, nick you. I'm going to get like bag. a mouthful of piss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some men pay good money for that, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and they said, have a look up there. It was very cocoon-esque um, and they went, watch it all move. What? And there was things moving up where we were what, in the trees no 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 in the stars oh yeah. like ufos ufos so i don't know whether that's ghosty but it was definitely sort of on the scale so i've, I've always been weirded out about that and sometimes when i'm out late at night dogging yeah. <laughs> Hashtag no. dogging with your mask <laughs> with my mask yeah um, no don't dog by the way i pub um, <laughs> <laughs> um when i'm out <laughs> I'm a furry. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, when I'm out, I sometimes, I, I, I always go back to that conversation that we have and just see if anything's up there moving. And So hang on, what what do you mean, what do you mean cocoon-like? What was it? You could see shapes in the, like, like night sky. Like the sky. stars moving. Is it, was it cocoon, that movie with the old people? Yeah. yeah that's what I'm yeah. talking about with the cocoons. Um, oh, it's like cocoon, cocoon the yeah, film. Yeah. Oh, oh, I've not seen that. Yeah. Yeah, it's all those old people that go off in the little pods, in it? Yeah. It's very sad. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very oh, sad. Jesus. So you saw something like floating in the sky? It's more like like stars or lights moving in the sky. And we didn't leave near airport. I sort of <laughs> went through all of the things to eradicate That's it. That's weird. Yeah, so that was just, yeah. Well, do you know what? I've, I said some weird things have been happening to me Go recently. On. I mean, especially since we started this podcast. Mm. It's not a coincidence. We have let out some mad demons. But the other day, I was driving um, on the M6, living, <laughs> yeah. living my best life, audio book on, pack of Benson and Edgy's goals. Loving, <laughs> loving life. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> and as I was driving along, and there, there, was, there was only a few like little clouds, I saw something like glinting really? in the sky. Like a mirror was there. And I thought, is it a plane? But then... It kind of just disappears. It was just like a big glinting, sparkling ball. Oh, not even that big. Fuck. You've but seen I, a but UFO then it just as disappeared, well. and I was like, "That's not an aeroplane." So where was this? Sorry, just in the sky. But where were you? On the M6. Where? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, you do. No, another thing. How many fags no. are you in? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that was that was on number nine, which means I just got past help. Um, <laughs> the other thing that was weird, and this is just a coincidence, but it is weird, is that oh, where was I? That's, let's say it was Telford. Let's pretend it's Telford. Uh -huh. So as I was driving, I was listening to an audio book, and I, I, the only books I really like, are, the only things I like listening to are things to do with murder okay. and thrillers. Because we are comedians, mm. but I fucking hate comedy now. Yeah. So I, will, I want people, I want murder, I want death. Yeah. And as I was driving along, I was getting myself a little bit creeped out anyway. But I looked, and on the, on the audio book it said, and they went past Telford. And I, <gasps> as it said Telford, I looked at the Telford sign. It was like... Oh my it was God. like an out of body experience. You manifested Telford. I, so. <laughs> Pit, yeah, you need I mean, to work on your manifest. I, I need to work. I need. I deserve more. Maybe you'll get Scunthorpe <laughs> next. I, said, I, was, I was actually round Scunthorpe the other day. Oh God! I gig in the most delicious areas. Let me tell you, Scunthorpe, Scarborough, love them, Telford. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I was there, and then I saw that sparkling ball. Really weird. That's strange. It was as though someone had like a mirror in the sky, and, it, and I was like, "Is anybody else?" Seeing this, and then later on in the day, drove past um, on the other side of the motorway a massive lorry that was fucking on fire. What? Like the heat was radiating into the car. Something exploded in in the truck, and I felt my car go. Poof. I was like, I'm gonna fucking die. You are. This is some sort of final destination shit going on. Yeah, I know, you've got to watch <laughs> out. And me and my little Hyundai i10. 
Fine. Like and also, like, was... when we first started the pod, Hannah said that she fell asleep in the bath, and I was like, oh, you need to watch uh, yeah, yourself. I need to be careful. Like, I'm playing with fire, yeah. quite literally. You keep nearly dying. I should have pulled over, but I just didn't want to get stuck in that fucking traffic, so I was like, no, I'm going to go ahead. Final Destination 73. Telford edition. Telford? Imagine <laughs> yeah, that. Exactly. Staffordshire. <laughs> Lost in Scunthorpe. <laughs> Lost in Scunthorpe. Oh, God. You need to TM that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 Lost in Scunthorpe. Um, um, so I've had weird shit happen to me. Do you want to hear? Yes. Go I've on. got another thing, and don't let me forget to tell you because it is fucking No, weird. go on. Okay. This morning, because my brother's staying with me while he's, he's moving to London, he's kind of staying with, with me and my boyfriend. Uh-huh. He gets this book. I've taken a photo of it. He gets this book that he's bought from home, and he went, What's this? And there is a note in the book Ooh. that has wasn't there before and it says look at look at how fucking creepy this is I was in your room nah lovely to meet you all I'm <laughs> off fuck this what <laughs> it says I was in your room my phone dead so it might be a while before what contact or something look oh at it oh my god I was in your room let's see and he's got no idea where it's who's done it I would literally be fu- and that it's the handwriting no. of a sociopath, isn't it? No. Yeah. No. Yes. That's fucking horrible. I know. I'm going to post it on uh, on our Instagram so you can go and have a look at it. That is outrageous. I was in it? your room. I was in your room. Because <gasps> usually fuck? you can find like a nice little bookmark or a, or a tenner. Or a stain. So weird. Or a stain, yeah. <laughs> that, that was a lovely he, he, gist. He, when he bought that, that wasn't there. Oh, God. I would literally be full Gemma Collins, get that fire exit door, I'm off. Have you <laughs> met Gemma Collins? Uh, yes. <gasps> Yeah. That's, that's one of my that's Gareth? one of my goals. The GC. Um, uh, I met Gemma Collins not through anything that I'm doing now. It was years mm. ago. I actually paid for a meet and greet with her at the Nightingale Club in Birmingham. Oh I my am god! Hun. So much respect. I am Hun. Um, you know, this is, this is the <laughs> thing. Like, I am. I will. I will literally pay for a meet and greet if yeah. I want to meet. I a love hun. that it's. Yeah. Didn't you meet Kylie your... the no? other day? I met Kylie the other day. I did. Yeah. Did you have Gareth, to pay for that? Stop. No, I, I was so her. jealous of that. Yeah. That looked amazing. Yeah. I love her. Yeah, I reckon, yeah, that was probably one of the greatest days of my life. Oh my I controversially don't really like Kylie. Right, well, lovely to meet you. Yeah, lovely to meet you. We are <laughs> off. Yeah. She's the, one, she's the only one that I think, I just don't like your songs. We've had this conversation before. Yeah, we have. I like that on a it's night like this. She speaks very highly of you, though. Yeah. <laughs> she fucking does. Yeah. Now she's got Danny Minogue, however. I met her love. the week before. Oh, stop. Did you? Yeah. I love her. I think Kylie I think seems lovely. lovely. I, just don't really like, I just don't really get on with the songs. Yeah, let's 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 take this offline, yeah? <laughs> I, I honestly... Be, um, a fight on I was Patreon. Like, am I going to tell Gareth this? And I was like, no, be brave. No, do Be it. brave. Listen, you like what you like. <laughs> you like what you like. But um, tell us about what GCMB had. GC, yeah. Yeah, so... How um, was it? it? Well, it was, it was in the Nightingale Club. It was when she was, like, peak meme, you know, when she... You know, Gemma Collins does, speaks in memes now. Everything yes. that she does is a soundbite that's going to be turned into yes. a meme. And I love that for her. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I really do. And for me. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, when she was sort of first coming up in the whole sort of meme world, I was a bit obsessed. And, um, yeah, she was... She's incredible, isn't she? Yeah, she's just fab. And she was, she didn't know where she was. She didn't know what she was going. I was like, another one, get him yeah. in, get him in. And I'm there like... Mm-hmm. I don't want to <laughs> play any more games. Sick of playing games. games. Just, can I just ask one more home question before we move on? Go on. Um, true or false? Okay. David's Dead is the best TV clip. Yes. Ever. Yeah. I mean, have you seen this? What? David's Dead no. on Big Brother. Oh, Susie. Oh my it, God! I can't call so myself a ghost. On now. um, on the uh, on was it a celeb Big Brother, wasn't it? I think it was 2017. I love, I love this. Yeah. It's 2017. It was January. 9, 9, 15, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was um, so two a few of the housemates in celeb Big Brother was David Bowie's ex-wife Angie. Angie, right? There was who was that? Tiffany. Tiffany what was Pollard. She from? She's she's the one. Um, she's, the American lady. Yeah, she's from. Um, they call her New York, don't they? Tiffany Pollard. She's she's like big reality star in right. the US. So I I yeah. didn't know she was. For us or in there. and there was David Guest. Guest, David yeah. Guest. Oh. So David Guest was there. Angie is Angie's ex-husband was David Bowie. Oh, I'm remembering this. Yeah, yeah. And, and they she, all go. And all of a sudden, David, da- David Bowie died of cancer. Very sadly, <laughs> R.I.P. Yeah. Right. And she yeah. came in and she was like, "David's dead," and they were like, "What?" <laughs> And he's, but the funniest thing was is that he was just asleep Sleep in the, in the bedroom. But like he could have, if he was awake, that wouldn't have been. Yeah. But it, and like with it over his head, they were like, David's dead. Um, if you haven't seen it, listeners, you have to go. It is. I watch it once a week. Yeah, I think I think average. that particular season of Celebrity Big Brother is oh. like the nucleus of Hun culture. It had like, everybody. It had everybody in it. So um, yeah, shameless plug for something that I'll never make any money out of. 
Watch, oh, watch that one. Incredible. Have you, you have seen, have, are you watching the current BB? Oh, God, yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I haven't watched it. I yet. watched the obsessed. first episode yeah. and then I was like, oh, this is a, because it's a big ask, isn't it? It's all the adverts on ITV and I'm a yeah. bit like, okay, I've yeah. just got to push through. Just watch it on Daily Motion the next day. Thank you. Oh. Fun tip for if Daily Motion. Do you want to sponsor us? We are ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll take it. We will. Um, take it. What's been happening in your life? What's what's happening oh, yeah, to the you? Haunt- okay, so basically, um, <laughs> oh yeah, the haunting. <laughs> the haunting. So I've um I've moved to like my mate's flat in Caledonian Road, mm-hmm. and I'm at the top of this Victorian townhouse. Right? Penthouse, honey. It's a penthouse. To be fair, <laughs> it is. There's like yeah, three it's balconies. Gorgeous. It's very um, uh-huh. and uh anyway, it's it's very bougie and it's very nice, but um. I keep hearing, uh, to be fair, initially I was like, it's actually quite comforting because I keep hearing bangs on the walls next to me. You know when you hear like um, people Very... like plugging in I a phone? shagging. Next... Yeah. yeah, shagging or plugging in a phone or whatever. And you're like, oh, uh-huh. it's nice to know there's just someone there. Because uh-huh. like, you know. And anyway, I said this to my mate and she went, there's no one next to you. You're the uh, like this townhouse has been the only one with planning permission to have an attic there's no one on either side of you and i was like no no, no. it's the, rats the, no, no, yeah. it's rats in the wall oh, it could be rats <laughs> and but they are like big rats because yeah, but rats do I, make a fuck super you know rats. that sometimes you can hear rats and it sounds like someone is a person yeah. is it's out. literally i hear this every night i hear like that is rats. <laughs> it's rats. It's, it's rats. just rats. Oh, so I'm actually getting haunted by a rat. Oh, you're actually <laughs> just. Oh, it is. How did we never? We've been talking about this for weeks. I was like, yeah, you're haunted. That's the case. Yeah, to yeah. be fair. Never considered rats. Well, the only reason I came to the rats thing is is because. <laughs> I'm actually because... really glad to hear this because I'm getting freaked out every yeah, night. Uh, yeah. Would you rather a ghost or a rat though? Or, a, or maybe it's ghost a ghost rat. rat. I'd rather have a ghost. Ghost rat. Ghost, ghost rat. rat. Ghost rat. Let's, sounds, sounds, like DM, a, DM. sounds like a CBeebies program. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's ghost rat. rat. <laughs> we'll take that. We'll take the royalties for that, Susie. Note it down. Note um, it down. Ghost rat. Ghost rat. Why, what? Have you been haunted by a rat before? No. Um, where we live, um, so I've got this uh, little flat in Tottenham, and you can't get to our back garden without going through everybody's back garden. We've sort of like right, sandwiched yeah. and we don't have a back you. gate or anything like that. And then we've got this um, we've got this big high wall that goes round. And basically what's happened since we've lived there for five years, we are basically being stalked by foxes. It's like the animals of Farthing Wood, but the horror <laughs> edition. You sat there Amazing. and like, uh, you know, as, it, as it's getting dusk um, and you can see the shadows, you just see the foxes going past. Now we've kind of the like- kinky foxes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> And I don't, I don't know what I said. I'm going to tell you. Um, so when we first got there, we put all of the things out. No, we're not allowed to poison or kill foxes or anything. We don't want to do that. I'm not advocating for that. But we put... <laughs> I can't believe we're going to say this. We put the lights out, the flashing things to stop them, did all the sprays and everything. And then I read that if you, if you, if you piss in your own garden, it yes. has to be specifically male piss. Yes. Wow, um, really? Then that's what deters them. So for the first couple of years, You're just, <laughs> I'm out there having a slash in my own garden. <laughs> and well, the neighbours are like, he's yeah. fully <laughs> lost his mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's so pissing in the garden so again. Basically, I'm on some weeks. sort of register. Oh, no, that's fine. No. That's okay. I would do that. So, that should was... I go and piss all over I my friends? Male piss. I, well, for rats, get... though. Oh yeah, be... oh, yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. true. Do you want a cup now? Yeah, yeah. do it. Yeah. <laughs> a little sample, if you would, Gareth. That would be very nice. <laughs> I, was on, I was on the piss last night, so it's going to be toxic. Oh, delicious. Because <laughs> you were at Madonna last night. I was, yeah. Oh, but what she said was a little underwhelming. However,. Overall? Oh, God, yeah, yeah. 10 yeah. out of 10, yeah. 6 out of 10, 5 out of yeah. 10. I don't Was it wa- underwhelming? Um, I don't want to... No, I, listen, Madonna's amazing. Um, I've just been to better Madonna shows. Yeah. And it's nothing to do yeah. with, with... Where with, was it? Um, It was in a front room, actually. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Madonna's uh, a big Hun fan. Yeah, the O2. The o um, the thing is, is that it's nothing to do with like, <laughs> a performance or anything like that. The hits, it's just... It's celebration tour, like forty years. Of the yeah, hits. and I just think it could have been a massive big. Party. I am a very big Madonna yeah. fan. I I also think that in arenas it's hard. Yeah, and because you she can't... looks amazing. Yeah. She's she's fab. I mean, I think her she has face lost has her mind. been yeah. fixed, but she's she she has lost her mind though, hasn't she? Yeah. Really? Well, she looked like, like... here and Britney are kind of on. In the zone. Uh, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I would say if, if the scales, like Britney's like. I, yeah, I, I feel like it tips. Britney's me, coming yeah. back though. Britney's Brit- thing. Britney, no, I'm she's telling you, she has got a book out. Um, on a tangent here, um, at like two o'clock in the morning, you know, my boyfriend's going to sleep because he has to be up for work, um, and I'm there watching videos, and I'm like, Love that, yeah. I'm in a deep hole <laughs> of Britney Wait, in Br- oh. Britney talk, and and the conspiracies. Talk. There are body doubles. Um, 
all of the people that you're seeing on her Instagram doing the, the, the spinning, 99% of it is not her. She's got three body doubles. There's the star decoy, no, which is the one which, the is, the, the, which the teeth aren't correct. Then there's the paparazzi body double, which is the one with the glasses that go out. And then what they do is they drop the, the real Britney in. And there's a guy on TikTok called Larry Potter. He's a bit crazy. Um, no, he's great. He, he's, 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 he's great. But, but if you follow his series, you'll get to see. And every time now Britney comes up, we're like, that's like, not, that's not Britney. That's, oh, they've dropped Britney in. So really? I can, yeah, honestly. Do you believe that? I'm going to show you a picture, actually. because I, I don't think I can believe that. I'm going to watch this. Because how many people said that she was like that. a member of the Illuminati for ages. I'm just like, she's had there so is, many what? conspiracy theories yeah. leveled against yeah. her. Let I don't know if I don't. It. It's her. It is her. She's just got the bad teeth. Although I do have to say, yeah, they're not even bad. They just don't look like no, Britney's teeth. But, but she's not that. Look, I'm just checking my. Let me see. Check <laughs> my other pictures. <laughs> they're not the same person. Let's see. That does look. That does look. But that photo could have been. That's real, Britney. That's not. No. Yep. I don't know if I see that. I oh, just think... I really want that to be true, though. Han, I'm telling you, follow Larry Potter on um, on TikTok. Shit, he's oh, brilliant. I'm gonna, my boyfriend is gonna fucking hate me. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have no sleep. Now. Yeah, I'm so excited. The thing is, is that it's so bad that he uploads because he's he's in America. He uploads his videos late in the night, so I'm like, oh, yeah. for this dude that I've never <laughs> even met. <laughs> Can you please get with the UK time, Larry? Exactly. Britney, save Britney. I feel yeah. I'm worried for her. Oh, everybody's worried. But she's gonna come back with a banger this month. Think? Though, I think. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Is she excited. actually recording music? Yes. The thing is, like, you've got to go back to Britney in 2007. The dancing with the knives. Yeah. Just... That is a horror show, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Um, um, horror. Horror. Yes. <laughs> so, um, Gareth Han, uh, what we do every week, we pick a tarot to set the tone of that we've just, we've done half the podcast anyway. Oh. But um, pick us a card okay. and just spread them out wherever you want. <laughs> way up. <laughs> I keep saying way up. I'm such yes, a I don't twat. know why you're doing um, that. I'm a <laughs> big twat. Are you and saying like boom, boom, boom? Let me see. Uh, way up. <laughs> way up. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking Susie, about, really. The thing is, Susie d often doesn't know things. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty... I live under a rock in the yeah. bin. Well, no, you don't. You live in a rat-infested penthouse, yeah. I mean. Yeah, yeah. a haunted soon, rat infested. Soon to stink of piss. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it yeah. no longer is relevant to the ghost ones, but I can't wait to hear <laughs> your rodent update next week. Get your rat out. Get quite your literally. rat out, love. It's Get your rat, your rat out here. Your... <laughs> Get my rat out in Get the garden, in the terrace. Um, so pick us a card, whichever, if one calls to oh, you. I'm so excited. Okay. Pick a card, Catherine. Spread them. Oh. Oh, yeah, wherever you want. Let's have a talk to the Tarot Cafe. Oh. Talk to the Tarot Cafe. <laughs> For anybody who doesn't know what we're talking about. Nighty like, night. Nighty night, you have to watch it. It's incredible. Right, okay, good. so I, I feel drawn. Oh, I feel Which heat. one do you feel drawn to? And then I'll have a look. Have them here. Oh, that's it, lovely. I'm going to go here. Susie's got a tarot book out ready. Because <laughs> I don't know the meaning still. <gasps> what is it? Ooh. Oh, if it's no. not a good one, Gareth, you are getting shipped out immediately. What is it? It's somebody in some nice booties holding a star thing. Oh, that seems nice, oh, doesn't it? Nice what would we say? Let's have a look. They are some... It's, 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 the, it's the seven oh. of Kurt Geigers. <laughs> it looks like... Um, <laughs> is that some Uggs? That looks like the four of pentacles. It looks... Do you know those dance mats? Do you remember those? Oh, you used, love... used to tap on the shapes to the music. Yeah, yeah. It looks like those. what he's doing. Is he sat down or is he just short? He's squatting, I think. Squatting. <laughs> okay, squatty, so potty. I'm going to... having a piss in a car park. Yeah. He's trying to get rid of his foxes. <laughs> <laughs> but it does okay. look like he's, it does look like he's in a built-up area. <laughs> <laughs> he's on a council estate. Oh, no, yeah, I'm right. It's a four... Okay, here we go. Four of pentacles. Mm. Okay, the four is a sign of conservation what, like in I a, thought that was conversation in, in like a David Attenborough sort of way like maybe maybe what, like there's a, one of those butterfly farms <laughs> it <laughs> indicates substantial material possession oh god yeah and may reveal protective tendencies Ooh. So maybe if, maybe this is going to be a very... Well, that's actually, weird because we've got you a gift. We've got you a I little feel. gift, yeah. Gara. And that is weird that is actually that that's quite... come up. Really? It's not yes. condoms, is it? Yeah. <laughs> but we've we got to use some lube and some condoms. We should have done that. Prosecco um, lube. <laughs> Do you know what? That would have been better. Sack that <laughs> off. Take it away. 
We've got you a little gift, hun, as a as a token of our thanks for coming on the potty. Okay. Um. So and we worry that, of course, we are messing around with things that shouldn't be messed with. Yes, we want you so to feel. So you're likely to go home haunted in this. We hope. Okay. And we'll we protect. want you to feel protected in case we do invoke any spirits on the podcast. Do you want me to open, open it? Open it now. Yeah. Okay. This is like Christmas. Like I fucking hate Christmas, and everyone's like, "Open your presents." I know. Like, come and on. We're staring at you. That like, mean? are you going to love with it? The little, the little boy with his cup of tea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but of this... course, if you don't want to, you don't oh, no, have to open I, it now. Of course, I'm going to open it. We do. <laughs> Might not like it, but like, I will open it. We're not. Yeah, we we can take it back for. We you can get a gift receipt. Okay, I, I'd actually prefer the equivalent in cash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, uh, okay. for £15. Oh. So, babes, oh. that is a tiger eye. A tiger eye? Yeah. and can that's used a... as a cock ring? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Can. We didn't ask Katie that, Sorry but at, at mysticgates.com. <laughs> um, so shout out to Katie at Mystic Gates. Uh, she's a lovely Greek lady, runs a crystal shop. And um, we asked about a little gift. She was like, oh, what is his name? <laughs> and then I said, Gareth, and she went, oh. <laughs> they gave me a tiger eye. Can yeah. you read out? You took a photo of oh, what I it did, means. Yeah. Well, I won't read you out oh, the whole thing. Oh, thank you so much. I wish I. But you can. Um, so you can. Oh, did you not bring us a gift? Well, in that case, you're gonna need to yeah. go back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have I got in my bag? I've got yeah. a trainer. I've bought you a trainer. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> There's one each. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, stunning, mm. stunning. And then she says there's a little thing you can adjust and open and yeah. Okay. The trick is you pull. have when you get home, you have to put it on and then trim it, trim the ends and then burn the ends. Yeah, it's just oh, that's it's quite not the a first high time maintenance. Said that no. to me this trim week. the ends, burn the ends. <laughs> high maintenance. So it's good. Um, key words in relation to tiger eye are balance between extremes, discernment, <laughs> vitality, mm. strength, and you are very tall. Practical. I don't know what that's got to do with strength. <laughs> Practicality and fairness. Oh, that is so lovely. And protection. How nice is I that? I don't know how to. Adjust. She did show me. She gave me a whole fucking she gave tutorial you a whole thing about how to. About it. Do you know what? We'll workshop we'll, it. We'll, we'll yeah. workshop yeah. it. We'll get, but anyway, we'll that will keep you, you safe so from much. all the ghosts that we might um, invoke. Right, um, Hannah, have you got a story for us? Uh, I have. I've got. And quickly. Do you actually believe in ghosts? Do you, do you yeah, like you yeah, do? Yeah, I do. Well, I, I, I think the thing is, is that the word ghost sort of conjures up, you know, white sheet spooky. I think yeah. it's like, I think it's like the whole without being a dickhead, like the whole energy thing. And, yeah. You know, the, the passing over and stuff. Yeah. If I sat down and thought about it a bit more, I could probably come back with something really. But it's not as if you're a full sceptic. No, no, no. I'm, I'm all for it. Really, I, I think there's got to be something. We say it all the time. Yeah. I, I think that's where we s we're quite similar in that we're like we do think there's like an energy. Yeah, I would just we don't know how to see. I guess. would hope that you did, considering you've got a podcast about it. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> what a load we, of shit. We've just been taking you on this journey for the past forty-eight episodes. Well, we're going on. We're going to our next. Go we do a ghost hunt every month for Patreon. If you want to sign up for Patreon, please really? go to www.patreon.com slash ghost hunt. <laughs> and we do a ghost hunt every month. And this month we're going to. Sheffield. 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 Very spooky. Sheffield will probably go through Telford at some Well, that's point. what I was going to say. It's, it's, it's <laughs> Telford for your Scunthorpe. birthday episode. Telford is... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're going big. We're going to Telford. <laughs> okay, so my story, my first story is, there are three ghosts in my home, but there's something wrong with one of them. <laughs> oh, buckle in. Here we go. Are you ready? Right. Uh, yes. Okay. <clears throat> I'm a bit hungover, so you're going to have to bear with me. I bought this house about two years ago. I saw the ghosts about a month after I moved in. Right. I thought about moving again, but I didn't have the money to do that again, so <laughs> cool. Cost of living. <laughs> cost of living crisis. The mortgage rates are through the roof. Honestly, I've just spent all the legal fees, so fuck this, the ghosts are in. How want... annoying, though. Moving house, only to find out you're in another fucking house, yeah. Yeah. yeah by they're not paying outrageous. Rent. No one's paying rent. I bet they won't buy their own fucking butter. Yeah. Nightmare. <laughs> Besides, it was a great house and it was my dream house and I wasn't going to let a few ghosts ruin that for me. Oh, I like the resilience. What a yeah. lovely ass. <laughs> strong, yeah. strong. Bo is the ghost of a young man from the 70s. He doesn't usually bother me. He tends to sulk by the living room windows, staring outside into the front yard. Whenever he does speak, he tells me about his wife, Margaret, and how she went missing five years before he died and sorry, was never it, found. Is this couple called Bo and Margaret? Bo and Margaret. I'm not getting it, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it's not I've, it's no it needs to be a Keith, yeah, doesn't it, Keith. really? It's a Keith. Yeah. Or it's a, like, David. Yeah. It's not a Bo. Although you're saying this ghost is from the 70s, usually they're Victorian, so I'm like... Yeah. At least That's nice. Got a little... I like that. And they're not... Bo is like a fit surfer, isn't he? Well, Bo sounds like a porn star. Yeah, do you I think, think so? I think it's a fit name. Yeah. 
A f oh, lovely. Um, okay, so he tells me about his wife, Margaret. She went missing five years before he died and was never found. A bit of true crime, love that as well. He, he says her. he killed himself because he couldn't deal with the heartbreak. He killed Margaret. I think he killed Margaret. Do you think so? Yeah, absolutely. Bo's a killer. Bo is <laughs> He's a killer. He's a murderer. <laughs> it were near suicide. It were murder. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a murder. He says there used to be a barn in the back and he hung himself there. Now he's stuck on the property and he never found out what happened to his wife. You're right, it wasn't. Mm. I tried looking into it for him when he first told me about her, but he was right. She just disappeared from her house and they never figured out where she went or if she's even still alive. She is not alive. Imagine if he, like, hung himself in the barn... And Margaret's just gone an extended holiday and fell in love with a waiter or something, you know. What I mean? Oh, like yeah. dinner Shirley Valentine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Yeah. Mags in Lanzarote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mykonos. Sometimes I don't see him for weeks, and then he randomly shows up again, sad and standing in the corner of my living room, just staring out of the window. Sounds a bit inconsistent, to be honest, as a ghost. Well, it's just like if you are going to be a ghost and you're going to live in my house, can you just have good yeah. vibes, <laughs> yeah. please? Yeah. He wears flannel pyjamas and is barefoot with unkempt hair and overgrown facial hair. Stunning. Gorgeous. He says he's stuck that way now. I mostly feel bad for him and the fact that there's nothing I can do to help him now. Talia is the ghost that's stuck on the second floor. It's like Casper, isn't it? <laughs> there's one on every floor, I'm like. Talia, Talia, Talia is fit. Is there a reason why they can't? Are they allowed to move between floors? Is there a, ghost, is there a stair lift? No, Perhaps we'll so find out. A stair lift. <laughs> <laughs> a scare lift. A stair lift. No. Oh, you just fall off. Honestly, it's not on fire. Fire. on fire. I bet Talia is a right. It's like she's a slapper. <laughs> she's a slapper. <laughs> Talia's a slapper. Talia is slapper. An ugly slapper. What are the chances of us being able to call this episode <laughs> Talia's a slag? <laughs> I don't know anything about her, but oh, she's a slapper. Talia's not then a little... Talia, the name Talia, it's not. It's no Margaret. In fact, Talia and Bo, Bo should, should be bang. together, yes. yeah. They should get it together. Yes. Oh, on the second floor. They might. Okay. Talia's the ghost that's stuck on the second floor. She walks up and down the hallways, crying at random times throughout the night. Same. Very, <laughs> very relatable. Last you're looking at your Britney videos. <laughs> yeah. she's just, there's so many of her. Oops, I've done it again. Oh, amazing. <laughs> I've tried talking to her, but all she does is ask me if I know where Lawrence is. I don't know a Lawrence, and when I tell her this, she begins sobbing even harder. Talia is the most unsettling to look at. <laughs> okay, so I, sh I told you she was ugly. She's minging, yeah. She sounds needy, Talia. Yeah, yeah. you've got I to think get over she was, it, huh? Yeah, you have. I think she was murdered or something, even though she hasn't told or me. Or something. <laughs> oh. Or something. She, she wears a... Oh, sorry, I thought this does something different. It says she wears a white nightgown that's torn and dirty at the bottom. I thought it was dirty on the bottom. <laughs> she <laughs> shat herself. Charlie's got skinnies. Imagine that. <laughs> Shitting yourself and then dying. <laughs> so let's get this... So let me get this straight, Talia. You're a bit of a slag. Some say Talia. slapper and you've got a skiddy nighty. <laughs> a skiddy, a Jesus. skiddy nighty. Talia needs to get Talia, I'm so embarrassed for her. Talia oh, needs to glow up. Maybe I shouldn't have read this one out. Oh, Talia. I feel, we feel sorry oh. for her now. What we could do is get Talia on the pod and do like a This Morning Makeover. We need it. to do an intervention. Get Ruth Langford <laughs> got in. Got one. We'll get Ruth Langford in. She can present. Yeah. It's going to be great. She'll be in a heeled boot before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> and some pleather I'm, leggings. I love you, Ruth, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious. Okay. Oh, her hell. feet are covered in dirt and blood, and the bottom half of her nightgown is covered in blood as well. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. She's thin and bony with dark circles under her eyes and tears that are always falling down her dark skin and onto the collar of her nightgown. It's like me in 98. <laughs> <laughs> her hair is messy and uneven. The curls at the back are shorter than the ones over her left shoulder. So she's got a choppy, like, Karen cut. She's got... She's yeah, gone, you went like VB. I think, well, I think she's got Natalie and Brulia from Torn. She's all out of faith. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a story about Torn that I'll tell you about in a minute. Oh, I'm story. very excited about that. My favourite song. Um, I tried searching her name when she told me, looking for disappearances or deaths in the area, but I found nothing. She spends her time walking up and down the hall, periodically calling out for Lawrence and crying. There's just these ghosts up and down the fucking house all the time. Sounds very busy. I know. Sebastian is by far the most <laughs> normal and low-key ghost. Another one. This is the world. There's one wrong. There's something wrong with one. Uh, of them. Oh, cool. <laughs> right. There's something wrong. I think there's something wrong with all <laughs> fucking all of them. <laughs> yeah. Especially Talia. Yeah. Talia has got some serious <laughs> issues. Someone get, get her a fucking six pack of M&S pants for God's sake. God, ten denier. <laughs> 
Tights might be a good shout. Actually, <laughs> God love her. Reinforced gusset. <laughs> gusset. What a word. I love that word. Oh, I hate that. No, word. I love it. Gusset. Gusset. Do you remember when we did when we did our Edinburgh show? I um, sent to the room once because it was so fucking hot, wasn't it, when we were doing Edinburgh? And I was like, oh my gusset, it's so warm. And they all looked at me like they wanted to just kill me. It was terrific. <laughs> my, I will remember that forever. My drag name is Clammy Winnette. <laughs> Clammy what? Clammy Winnette. Oh, Clammy Winnette. Yeah, that. and, that, and that's, that's, that's very gussety, yeah. isn't it? It's gussety, yeah. 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 Um, Sebastian's the far most normal and low-key ghost, and yet somehow he terrifies me in a way that the others don't. Silence. He stays in the basement at all times. I saw him when I went down there to do laundry for the first time. He's dressed in a clean grey suit with a bow tie and shiny dress shoes. He sounds like a uh, ventriloquist yeah. doll. Oh, Ken, Ken Dodd. <laughs> Ken Dodd? <laughs> yeah. It's a feather duster. He looks young and in uh, any other situation, I might think. He was handsome. <laughs> She's shagging, shagging a ghost. A ghost. <laughs> Why not? Well, who? Britney shagged. No, was it did Britney shag a ghost? Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou shagged a ghost. Yeah. Are we talking about Lucy Lou as in Charlie's Angels? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, Charlie's yeah. Angels. And Kesha. Kesha. Oh, oh, that oh, actually, when ghost. you're done, I've got a story about shagging ghosts. Oh, amazing. Can't so, wait to uh, this is so. Every time we do this pod, it's so synced. I know, it is, Protection yeah. Protection spells. In this sorts. pod was meant to be. He has a slight accent that I can't quite place, but it sounds Spanish to me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, Sebastian. Susie. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Hola, Sebastian. We're going to get another barrage of people <laughs> cancelling us. In me basement. <laughs> Hola. Hola, chico, latino. Um, ¿Por qué? Anytime I'm down there, he's done. Oh, where the fuck am I? Tim, cut this out. You're in a studio. I'm in a, I'm in a safe space. <laughs> I try not to talk to Sebastian too much because he creeps me out. Anytime I'm in the basement, he stands in the corner and stares at me with his intense eyes. Mm, Sometimes, I know, he sounds a bit fit, actually. Oh, gosh. (laughs) Sebastian. Guapo. (laughs) Guapo. (laughs) Sangria. (laughs) Okay, now we're descending into racist slurs. Ah! No, I love sangria. There's a particular brand of sangria called Pina Sal. It's delicious. Penisol. Penisol. It comes in like an orange juice carton. It's fine. I fucking love sangria. If you'd said to me penisol was a thrush cream, yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> right, right, get your penisol on. Get your penis out. <laughs> Why did I say that, Sebastian? Okay, that's not part of the story. When he does speak, he asks me how I'm feeling. If I've been stressed, what I've been up to lately. I think he used to be a therapist or something. <laughs> That's the only way I can explain the outfit in the journal and his way of speaking. Oh, he holds a journal as well in the suburb. So he's staring creepily from the corner of the basement, Just but with a journal. Yeah. It's nice to have it documented, though, it isn't is. it? I mean, it is. One time I asked Bo about him, thinking that maybe he had seen Sebastian in the house at one point, but he didn't know who I was talking about. He said, oh, fuck me. He, he said, said he didn't fuck me. He said, fuck me. He said he didn't remember a ghost in the basement, but he could be wrong. They don't really interact with each other. As time goes on, I become more and more unsettled. Two days ago, I went down there to do laundry and I didn't see him. I thought I'd be relieved, but somehow it made me feel worse. I walk, I went, I walk, uh! She's falling for Sebastian. <laughs> They're going to fuck. This is how this is going to end. I worked up the nerve to go back down into the basement today, hoping that he's still down there, just for my peace of mind. I crept into the basement and noticed right away that it was a lot colder than usual. Mm. Somehow, there was more light down here, even though I hadn't switched. Why can't I fucking talk? (laughs) Somehow, there was more light down here, even though I hadn't flipped the switch on yet. When I got to the bottom of the steps, I realised why this was. The door in the far corner of the basement near the couch was wide open, letting in the cold and the light from outside. I walked over to the door and looked around the small area, walking up the three steps and onto the snow-covered sidewalk, looking around the backyard. There was no one around. As I stepped back, something crunched underneath the weight of my foot. It was I Talia. Looked down. <laughs> Talia's dead. Talia's fucking scraggy knickers. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> Talia's got Talia the fuck Talia take your your crunchy knickers and fuck Talia listen moving into my house is one thing (laughs) but put your crunchy knickers (laughs) (laughs) you could snap them snap (laughs) them Jesus Christ oh my god R.I.P. Talia where was I (laughs) <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, right, okay. There was a crunch. I didn't realise what it was at first, but once I did, I felt my face flush and I didn't feel cold anymore. 
I felt like I was standing in 100 degree weather and my palms and forehead felt sweaty. <laughs> I stared down at the familiar golden pen that Sebastian used to write in his journal as the sunlight bounced off it. So Sebastian's had this fucking... Right. Is it a ghost pen or is it a real world pen? Well, it I was a ghost real pen world, and now it's like... Crunched it's crunched on it. It's crunched on it. Just the same as Talia's knickers. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many potential episode titles so far. <clears throat> I ran back down the steps and I left the pen on the sidewalk. I went back into the basement and shut the door behind me, pushing the couch in front of it. I reached out to slide the chain lock into place, but I realised the chain was gone and there was no way to lock the door. I raced back upstairs and closed the door to the basement, locking it and wedging it one of the kitchen chairs under the doorknob. With Talia's crunchy knickers. <laughs> <laughs> I wedged Look. the door open. <laughs> They're a very good door stop. Uh, I used it as a cracker to spread out <laughs> for the morning. No, that's disgusting. Uh, I, don't that's disgusting. <laughs> I looked inside every room in the house room, but he wasn't there. I closed all the blinds and ran into the living room, walking through bl- Bow to shut the blinds. Hello! I don't know what's wrong with me. To shut the blinds in the window that he was standing in front of. What are you doing, he asked. Remember the ghost in the basement that I asked you about? Yeah. Well, it turns out he's not a ghost. He's real. There's a real stranger in my house. Oh! Why did you think he was a ghost, Bo asked. Well, because there were already two ghosts in the house, so I thought, what's one more? <laughs> just, just a so, sanctuary. And at least he's got a clean pair of pants on, which is more than he's ever that slag. <laughs> yeah. Talia, <laughs> if you're going to be staying in my house, I'm going to need clean knickers, thank you. <laughs> Dirty Shit bitch. on a bottom. <laughs> so wait, if you're seeing ghosts, they're like like they're real people. Fair Ooh. enough. You wouldn't know that was a no, real person. Real person. So <laughs> that's grim. Um, I turned around as I heard the sound of the mail slot closing from outside and something falling in. I slowly walked towards the slot and lifted it up. Sebastian's journal was in there. I reached it and pulled it out carefully, opening it slowly, expecting something to jump out at me. The journal was filled with short entries that started back when I first moved in and saw Sebastian for the first time. There were hundreds of entries, some of them a few sentences long and some of them a lot longer in details. But all about me. What I was wearing that day, what I did. Gross fantasies of Sebastian and me in the laundry room. Oh, (gasps) so Sebastian fancies him back? Yeah. I flipped to the last page, feeling sick to my stomach. It was the most recent entry. It was a list titled The Dead that consisted of a few dozen names. I scanned the page, recognising three names. Bo, Tyler... (laughs) Bo Talia, <laughs> Bo Talia, and my own name, Carla. Oh, it's a sixth sense ending. She's it, a ghost. It, oh. So Carla's dead. Boom, Carla's dead. <laughs> Sebastian, it's Sebastian's house. Oh fucking uh, hell! The twists and turns. You're welcome. You're Honestly. welcome. Okay. Just couldn't have seen it. <clears throat> How um, about that then? How would you react if you were a ghost? I think I'd be quite happy about it, to be honest. Yeah. I'd Just right chilling out with. I can't work out who's the fitter one, Bo or Sebastian. I think Sebastian is probably fitter because he's alive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got a pulse. A bit more virile. <laughs> yeah. We do like a pulse. A bit more. Um, do we? So, do we? Don't need it. Not necessary. <laughs> so, do you want me to? Re- I've basically I've got this book for my birthday. Okay. It's called True Hauntings. It's fucking great. I'm obsessed with it. Mm-hmm. And it's mammoth book. I love the fact that it's, it's a mammoth huge. book. It's, it's the mammoth book of True. The Hauntings. mammoth book. <laughs> I love it's, that book. Yeah. It's so. It, it makes me look much cleverer than I so am. So have you got as a shag story? Yeah. Oh, so thrilled. so um they've put in Someone here. Get me a wine from crusty knickers to wet knickers. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> This is um, all in the space of an hour. They've put some basically newspaper clippings okay. from like the eighties of like reports of people who've written in to like the Daily Star about like shagging ghosts. So I'm going to read you a few. Okay, of them. love that. Um, so the the news title, the news title, what do you call it? A headline. Great. Yeah. New Sec- title. New. <laughs> I can't speak English. Uh, sexy ghosts search for love. Oh. They deserve it. <laughs> this is how it goes. This is from um, Sunday People, dated the 25th of January, 1981. Oh. Well, upon my soul, there's love and sex after death. Good for them. Spirits engage in lovemaking like ordinary mortals, says ghost hunter Stanley Wojcik. What? That's a horrible name. What? Uh, to be fair, it's Polish, I think. W O J C I K. Well, mine's Bitchkowski. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
St I'll just call him Stan. Uh, some of them even come to the beds of the living as astral lovers, he claims. 70-year-old Stanley from New Jersey says that ghosts also go to the cinema, ride in cars and aeroplanes, and even enjoy parties as a prelude to their spectral lovemaking. Sounds like they're having a whale of a time. Yeah, <laughs> I can't wait. No, I'm be. really looking forward to it. Um, yeah. Spirits are just like human wash beings. Knickers, apparently, <laughs> and you yeah. can go out and have. But we will time. judge you even in the afterlife. Yeah. yeah. Um, spirits are just like human beings. He said they are the astral counterparts of their former mortal selves. Stanley uses a pendulum so do we, yeah. and Ouija board to communicate with the spirit world. He says, sex after death is not biological. Spirits do make love, but it's an all cellular love, a oh. blending of their energies. Gorge. Stanley, who has written several books on the subject of ghosts, says that not only do spirits make love to one another, they also haunt the beds of real people. Oh. Women who are unattached, unmarried or divorced attract the amorous activities of male spooks for some unaccountable reason. Are you telling me that he I spent all this time wanking when I could have been <laughs> getting having sex with getting, the getting jiggy with the afterlife. Sebastian? Spunks. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it's like just unmarried women. They, they're they yeah. getting yeah. it more than... Yeah. Well, good, good for them. Um, good for us. Ghosts uh, can be slappers too. They can, <laughs> yes. Uh, he said... I have investigated numerous cases where women told me that they had actually felt possessed by ghosts. They said that they felt all the excitement of lovemaking. Oh. Cute. And then another one says, this is from also Sunday People, dated the 25th of October, 1981. Um, this is... Uh, the headline, the news title, is Bottom Pinch Ghost Nips in the Inn. Oh, that's a beautiful... I love that. Like, Bottom Pinch Ghost Nips in the Inn. Nips in the Inn. Oh, great. The girls at the Bluebell pub are feeling the pinch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is amazing. This is yeah. Sunday people. Why did that go out of print? Problematic. Um, the, the girls at the Bluebell pub are feeling the pinch from a phantom fondler. <laughs> The Phantom Fondler. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> you should do trailers. Yeah, you should. You're, you're like a newsreader. You should do the news because you've got a good voice yeah. for it. News and audio books, yeah. movie trailers. Yeah. Yeah, when I'm not getting slagged on TikTok for other things, people say I have an audio yes, book Yes, you have got voice. an audio book voice. But also they, they say awful things. TikTok yeah. is a fucking bin. Yeah. Listen. It's a bin. Rise, rise above it, girlies. I know, you're right. Um, <coughs> <laughs> I just saw one that was like... Um, I oh, wasn't it a shame about that other woman being on it? What a shame! Really, I was like, "Who oh, fuck yourselves?" Yeah, no. But hang on a minute. You have though. to just ignore. Are you, sh are you sure know, you're the other woman? Because it could yeah, be like a ghost, was... a ghost entity. That this. Yeah, yeah. They're like, why is that third one that's just slap? Why is that one shit up? <laughs> <laughs> Why do they never speak to Talia? <laughs> I feel like Talia's with us. Today they're going to be like, finally, someone's recognising <laughs> like Talia. Talia. <laughs> um, okay. Three barmaids, the landlady and female customers, have all suffered the ghostly gropers' advances. Mm. Now to avoid any misunderstandings, they're planning to pin a notice in the bar saying, don't blame the lads, ladies, it's only our ghost. <coughs> One previous oh, landlady... Classic. Uh, one previous landlady left for good after meeting the bottom-pinching poltergeist in the kitchen of the 18th century pub at Warrington, Cheshire. It sounds like sexy Scooby-Doo, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is outrageous. I want to go to this pub. Yeah, I want to go. Um, new landlady, Linda Wrench. <laughs> Linda Wrench. They're taking Linda the Linda Wrench. Um, an attractive 32-year-old blonde. Why did you have to put that in? But there she is. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I think they're talking about me. What's a Warrington accent? Oh, it's like Warrington. It's Warrington, is it like? like Cheshire's not I that far away from me. It's like Kerry Katona's Warrington, isn't she? Is, is it like she? that? Yeah. Is it? Go to cashlady.co.uk. Fast cash for fast lives. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. I'm going to try it. <laughs> Only mums go to Iceland. <laughs> no one has ever seen the ghost, but a few of us have felt his presence. No, that's, oh. that's, that's still a black. <laughs> that, yeah, <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> She's a genius. Oh, oh, do another hun clip. Sorry to um, go off on a tangent. When Scylla Black out, out Nicola, the journalist. Nicola. Oh, what a clip. Yeah. What a clip. Not what a clip. It. You need to watch it. Um, okay. He 
Okay, I'm just going to go <laughs> just generic north. He just grabs you behind <laughs> and then pats it. Often the nearest fella gets the blame, but it's happened too often when there was no one else around. We've also had a few glasses flying off the shelves, but he's a really friendly ghost. Oh, oh that's uh, nice. dead nice he's in that. dead nice. The previous <laughs> landlady told me that she was afraid to be alone in the place, but I'm not worried. It's not as if he goes bum in the night. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Barmaid Karen Asquith, 21, has also met the sexy No, speak. no. There was no longer 21 year old Karen. Karen. I call bullshit. Yeah. Oh, hang on, yeah. when was this? It's 1981. 1981. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is accurate then. Yeah. I'd like to meet her now. Yeah. <laughs> and ask Hi, Karen. Her. Hi, Hi, Karen. <laughs> um, I was down in the cellar picking up some ice when I felt a tap on my bottom. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Karen, you saucy bitch. I ran straight up cellar steps and I haven't been down there since. <laughs> lazy, only she's lazy. <laughs> yeah, she's like, yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm not changing the again. I'm 21, but <laughs> I sound 85. want to go to Magaluf and be a podium dancer, but I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I want to be a go, go, <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is the best ending. The only one who's safe from the creepy caresses is Linda's husband, Bill. Oh, amazing. He it's... said, I reckon I'm not his type. He only goes for good looking women. <laughs> Former what landla- a time to be Bill. Oh, Bill. Former landlady Kathy Mitchell. Hiya, Kath. Hiya, Kath <laughs> said, a few times I go in the kitchen, I felt the ghost sort of brush against me. <laughs> and that's the end of that. So, <laughs> wow. Listen, Stay I tuned for part If anyone's two. listening and you know where that pub is in Warrington. Oh, should we go? In Cheshire, we oh, should all I'd go. Love to I'd go. love should to do a little a, a school seance. trip? Let's have a Shall we? Day. A school trip. Oh, I'd love that. Because I've got all the goosebumps here. Should we find out, actually, if, if the Bluebell... Where is it? Bluebell Pub, Warrington. Yeah. We have to go. Yeah. We must Can go. someone tell us if that is still functioning as a pub? <laughs> Tell us where it is. Invite Tell us who's, us who's the landlady. Tell yeah. us everything. And are people still getting fondled? Yeah. <laughs> are your bums still yeah. being pinched? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, um, yeah can yeah, I yeah. tell you a little celeb story? Go on. Absolutely. Do you know who William Shatner is? Yes. yes. Wasn't he the Star Trek man? Yes. William Shatner pants. But wasn't Talia. he also in Miss Congeniality? Am I thinking of someone else? I don't know. Uh, yes, he was. He was the judge, wasn't he? Yeah, he was the, the announcer. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. What's he the host, the, the MC. The host, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you seen Miss Congeniality? No. Get out. Right. <laughs> Have you seen anything? No, no I literally <laughs> live in the bin. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, William Shatner's in Miss Congeniality. So very, very... He was on a Friday the day. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so this is his ghost story. Okay. Even stars of science... <laughs> Are we going to get an accent? <laughs> yeah. Piss them William Shatner is very. Is he American? He's, he's very American, American. Like, you know. Like, really. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, LA. Yeah. Okay. And deep. Even stars of science fiction series have not been exempted from supernatural occurrences. William Shatner, the original intrepid Captain Kirk of Star Trek fame, who has boldly gone where others have feared to tread, walked into an inexplicable incident that could have come from an episode of the show while on a motorcycle trip with three friends in desert country outside Los Angeles. Speaking in 1989, he explained... <coughs> Here's my accent. That's okay. We'd just stopped for a drink when we saw this other bike rider approaching us. In that kind of country, it's not advisable to ride alone. What would happen if you came off your bike? Anyhow, the guy tagged along with us. The moment I looked into his face, though, I felt an odd vibration humming through the air. Nobody else noticed anything. <laughs> this is outrageous. I can't. Can I keep it up? Should I keep it up? You've got to. Okay. You've got a Sigourney Weaver tribute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Then somehow I fell behind the others and shortly afterwards my bike hit a rock and overturned. I fell on the exhaust pipe, injuring my leg and badly burning my face. Lying on the ground, Shatner realised that the others were too far ahead to notice his accident. He called out but no one returned. He struggled to his feet and tried without success to restart his motorcycle. I knew I was in trouble. My leg, face, everything seemed to be giving me pain, but I knew I couldn't just stay there under the burning sun, so I began dragging and pushing the bike. When I reached a small hill, I thought I could force start, force start, arm, force start the machine if I could roll it down the slope, but by the time I reached the brow, the effort caused me to black out. I wasn't unconscious very long, and when I came to, I could hear that weird humming again. Strangely, too, I suddenly felt totally fit. <laughs> My he's so fit. <laughs> he's so fit. I actually can't picture what he looks like. Is he the one with the pointy ears? No, I can't tell. No, that's Spock. I'll find oh, that. no, that's sorry. Spock. He's. Um, <clears throat> hang on. Just got Brittany looking back at me again. <laughs> fake, fake Brittany. <laughs> Um, my limp had gone, the burn had disappeared, and now the bike seemed to have a mind of its own. I wanted to go its own way. It wanted to go its own way, not That's mine. Him. 
Oh, Hugh. Oh, I'm not doing yeah. it. He's probably much gravelly, gravelier than me. I don't think um, he is, actually. This is quite good. So am I going to yeah. listen yeah, to him later and be great, like, yeah. oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it wanted to go its own way, not mine. I couldn't fight it, so I just trailed along. I didn't know where I was heading until I suddenly came over the brow of a hill and there was a gas station in the distance. Shatner hurried to the station and asked the attendant if he could repair the bike. The man gave one push of the pedal and the machine roared back into life. At that moment, his three friends also appeared. I asked them what had happened to the stranger and they said he'd just vanished shortly after I fell behind. I heard the strange humming again and saw the stranger on a far hill. He was waving at us, but I was the only one who could see him. Oh my God. I didn't care. I waved back my thanks to whoever or whatever it was that had saved my life. Oh. A stunning story on, by Bill William Shatner. Sh I know. One. <laughs> Nearly shat myself. <laughs> it's been a lot of shat. You nearly did Italia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is ironic that you would choose Shatner's story after old Krusty Knickers. <laughs> Krusty Knickers. <laughs> Crunchy, sorry, Crunchy Knickers. Crunchy. There's a little one that Gillian Anderson has put here. Do you want to hear oh, it? She, I love yeah. her. Yeah, she I'm, wouldn't have Krusty Knickers. No, she would not. I, I bet she's got like silk pants. Yeah. Oh, she's Pantaloons. so. She's just the best. Isn't she's she? she's very chic. She's stunning. I've been seeing yes. recently like the X Files have been coming back into like the zeitgeist. Like they've been, you know, they're, they're, they're in, they're, they're, they seem to they're be like fil fil really? filtering back in. I, yeah. think, yeah. 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 I think a lot of paranormal. Yeah, 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 yeah. she was well, Scully. She, yeah. Oh, I didn't watch the X Files. Things are good in Strange and Static. Oh, I didn't know. Maria. This could be a case of Melder and, and Scully. Oh, I've never watched it. <laughs> oh, see, I have seen things. Is it alien? -y, I don't fully live yeah, under yeah, a bit. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell this little quickie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> way up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's literally way up number seven for me. Oh. So if anyone's keeping a tally, I'm so sorry. Okay. A tally, yeah. <laughs> Non -stop. This is outrageous. Um, okay. Gillian Anderson, who played FBI agent Scully in The X Files, has investigated every kind of supernatural event from UFOs to alien has abductions she? on the small screen. <laughs> oh, right. But she was forced to ask for help when eerie spirits beset her own home in Vancouver in 1995. Talking to Liz Hodgson, <laughs> wow, it was quite throaty. Hodgson. Hodgson of the Sunday Mirror, she recalled. It was really creepy. When my husband Clyde and our daughter Piper moved into the house, weird things began to happen. Lights going on and off, noises at night, and after a while it seemed there was something attached to me. I knew we'd have to get help. Gillian's knowledge of the supernatural had been carefully cultivated by all the reading and study she'd done for her role as Agent Scully. She knew the best source of help would be a local expert. I contacted a Native American who visited the... <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just in the yellow pages. Uh, <laughs> great. I contacted a Native American who visited the house and told us we were living near an Indian burial ground and there was still... Sorry. And they were still in a state of unrest after dying in a plague. Oh. Bad way to go. He then performed a ritual called smudging, oh, which yes, we know because we got it. some sage... Uh, smudging in which herbs were burnt to purify the space it was amazing what happened once it was over we felt that whatever had been there had gone indeed ghosts have not bothered Gillian Anderson again but after another century of haunting can there be any doubt that the next generation of stars of films music and television will not find themselves when they least expect it thrust into incidents very like those described in these pages oh Question my mark. god so there we go. There we go. Um, Tim has found the Bluebell pub. No. Oh, yeah. God. And it is very much open. <laughs> it's open and gropey. And do you know what? It looks like the food's stunning, so I think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a fish finger and finger. Oh, look at that <laughs> breakfast. Shall oh, we all go? Look at that. Honestly. Up. If no one touches my ass, I'm no, going to be I'm only, I'm only going <laughs> if someone touches my ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I give consent. Yeah, spirits. my arse doesn't get grabbed. I'm not. I'm I'll not going to be happy. I've came for the you. finger buffet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write a very severe yelp if I don't get fingered in this book. Touch my bum. <laughs> this Blue is belt is in. gone from arse pinching to fingering. Yeah. I don't know how far Listen, we've taken. Listen, it's a gateway drug. This is quite a goodie. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to read the preamble to this. Um. Right, Ina Twig. <laughs> <laughs> No, not like Ina Mina Manimo. Ina Twig is a, is a is a name Ina Twig. of a psychic, a very famous psychic in like the sixties. 
Okay. Um, and she was, for many years, regarded as one of the most respected mediums in the world. And you was can't na- be respected with a name like Ina. And in 1968, was named Spiritualist of the Year. Oh, what a great year. A oh, great year. Yeah. Okay, and this is called The Pyromaniac Ghost. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is Ina's experience. Where's oh, Ina location and date, by the way. Oh, Old, yes. Old Kent Road. On the Old Kent Road. On the Old oh, Kent Road. Um, and it's dated um, 1973. Wow. Right? Mm-hmm. So take yourselves back. Bo's probably around at this yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Fit In Bo. his prime, very. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Bo. That's what I call body odour. Talia's Bo. wandering around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Crusty napping. Crusty napping. Crustaceous <laughs> napping. Okay. I've been involved in a number of interesting hauntings. One of the funniest stories involved a theatre, although I didn't know that I was being taken to one for this. Ad- oh, no. He skipped that bit of shit. Uh, sorry. No, that's shit. Um, okay. Sorry. Sorry. This is a bit of chaos. We will get that. Um... <laughs> This is going to be good. Sorry, no, it's going to be really good. <laughs> no, here we go, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you in? I'm ready. Okay, you're ready. <coughs> I was asked to go to a house with the press. When we, when we arrived... <laughs> fucking hell. When we arrived at the place, miles from home, I was taken into a room. As I sat down in the city, I saw a man. He said, I've been swindled out of this house. This is the spirit she's talking. I asked, what's the matter? They've twisted me out of the price of this house, he replied. But you don't need this house now, I pointed out to him. You're in another world. Then I relayed to the people in the room what I was hearing. I patiently explained to the poor spirit. (laughs) Sorry. It was that facial expression. (laughs) No, I'm so sorry. I just wondered if I'd left anything out, but I haven't. Um, are you really into it, yeah? Bit, yeah. Okay. Uh, then I relayed to the people in the room what I was hearing. I patiently explained to the poor spirit that he was creating an awful lot of disturbance and distress to the people. They couldn't live in the house because of his activities. The thing that has made me really angry, he replied, is that they've ripped out my oak bookcase that I built with my own hands. They've ripped it out and thrown it out in the garden. Now, I was a complete stranger to that house and family. I've never seen either before, so I asked the family if what he was telling me about the bookcase was true. They said it was. So I began reasoning with the unhappy spirit. Why raise such a fuss about the bookcase? They don't need it and you don't need it, so what are you mad about? Deal with it, hon. Right. Deal with yeah. it. Yeah. Fair enough, Ina. As for being twisted Stupid out... Stupid slag. <laughs> Miss Twig <laughs> makes a good point. As for being twisted out of the money, the present occupants were only renting the house. They didn't own it. Besides, the spirit didn't need or want the house or money or anything else in this world. Finally, he was convinced and he departed. The terrible part about this... Sto- uh, <laughs> 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 the terrible part about the story is that the haunting had been so bad and, and the spirit had been so determined to make someone pay attention that he had overshadowed the son of the family renting the house who had committed a violence on his own mother. I don't know what that is. What was a violence on your own mother? Just whacked her. Uh, and he had to be put into a mental institution. Anyway, he was long. He was a long time getting he well. He was a long time. He was a long time getting well on the old Kent Road. I'm the little, I'm the fucking folk band. I'm the little, little, Mumford and Sisters. <laughs> Mumford and Hans. Mumford and Hans. Mumford and Hans. Oh my fucking oh, amazing. god! Amazing. Um, after I talked with the spirit, the haunting stopped and never occurred again. This is where it gets spooky, guys. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit of a <laughs> um, We're going to be here no, gonna until 7pm. Um, another time, I was asked to go to a house off the old Kent Round. Round. <laughs> it was a particularly horrible night, pouring with rain, dark and incredibly dreary. There was a young couple there, absolutely terrified. The man was a professional photographer. They told me that spontaneous fires were breaking out all over. Beds, chairs, rugs would suddenly catch fire. Well, we'll be sitting in a room and a fire will start on the settee or the chair will start to burn, the beds, the curtains, anything, but nobody's been burnt. Come and have a look at the place. Come and have a look at the place. It was also a miscongeniality. (laughs) Of course. See? Haven't even seen it. It's all coming back. It's coming back to Huns. I'd never seen anything like it in my life. The press people were there and even they were surprised. The windowsills in the children's bedrooms had been seared with fire, but miraculously no one had been burnt or injured. It was really terrifying. So all of us sat down in the living room and I heard a young man's voice say, I'm Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Who are you? I asked. 
I'm her brother, referring to the woman. I died as a result of a fire when I was three years old. It's got quite an old voice. Yeah, yeah, why? Sorry. (laughs) I was, I'm I'm afraid. (laughs) I've been on the fag (laughs) since the placenta. (laughs) Sorry, that should have been, I'm Jimmy. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I've really fucked that up. My favourite bit was when Gareth was like, quite an old voice. And you were like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <it's so> <laughs> yeah, I, I really fucked that. Uh, I'm her brother. I'm her brother. Oh, very funny. And then I asked him, um, why are you terrorising terrorizing these people like this if you uh, if you are indeed the one causing the disturbance? It's my only means of making... <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We've got Mickey. It's, it's Mickey Mouse. No. <laughs> no, he's been on the fags. Yeah. It's my only means of making them wake up to the fact that what is happening in the family is too dreadful for words. Very good vocabulary for three. <laughs> I asked him what was going on. Well, maybe spirits can grow up. Mm. What do we think? Discuss. <laughs> Discuss I in the comments. I think it's learning. I think it's learning. And so you, you stay as a three-year-old. You know like that smoking baby and the uh, Roger Rabbit? Roger Rabbit, <laughs> <It's> yeah. like <laughs> that. You, you, you stay looking the Jimmy. same. Jimmy! <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> that's terrifying, man. Yeah, it is. Um, a smoking baby. I asked him what was going on in the family that had disturbed him so, and he told me the whole story. It is confidential. Well, oh, great, Ina. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the story. Ina, but it did dog. involve a family quarrel resulting in members not talking to each other. He said, I will continue to do this until laments have been made and peace has been restored in the family. <laughs> this is three year old. He's, he's in the mafia Vinnie now. Jones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Guy Richard. <laughs> Baby Richard. Um, will you promise me that if I ask the folks here to put this right, you will get on with your life in the other world and leave them in peace? <laughs> I promise you, if they make peace, with the rest of the family, there will be no more disturbance, he said. <laughs> do, do, do. And then there were no more fires. <laughs> do, 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 da, 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 da. Great. Well, that, that was, was worth quite it. The, that was quite the, the journey we went yeah. on. We, we've gone on so many journeys. Gareth, are you excited for this section of the podcast which closes our poddy? We, we get, get haunted, haunted so you don't have to. Are you excited? Okay, this is very special now because it's all getting a bit personal. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. what my um, what my plan is is to find Susie. Susie's been through a breakup of recent. Yeah, yeah. of um, recent. Of recent. Of your <laughs> of recent. She's been through a fucking breakup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make her a love potion. Really? Now I know you're in a relationship. Yeah. With a man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> with a man he's gay no way right, this morning this morning when I was getting this ready I was like listen I can't assume that Gareth is gay I would bet my life on it but I can't assume yeah, 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 yeah. so can't I assume. need to go and then yeah. I, was, so I was all ready to be like oh, is your partner a man or a woman and then you told us earlier on so yeah, I just yeah, sat yeah, 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 yeah. you know, there and we, we see you so, thinking yeah. um, but are you willing to risk your relationship. I'm happy to if if, if I I will. Yes. It, I'll bend the relationship yeah, for the next right, for, for, for the, the purpose of, the of this podcast. Thank <laughs> well, you, we we <laughs> appreciate. I have so what I've done. So first of all, it's going to be a bit of a, a ceremony. All oh, right. Really. Is it a piss oh, up? Um, kinda. <laughs> <You're> gonna, <laughs> kinda. So, but you um, have to um, piss in a circle have... all the way around the table uh, to ensure that no foxes the, 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 no come in. Foxes are doing the ceremony. Um, so first of all, I've got some prawn crackers. Oh, because, just as a snack. Of course, yeah, because I'm just a bit hungry. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, well, it's all, it stems from like um, seafood being a, what's the word? Aphrodisiac. Allergy. Aphrodisiac, yeah. Oh, yeah, first of all, any allergies? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, great. Because I don't want to kill people. So we're no. going to start with that. Um, first of all, what we have to do, I have to take that out. Please don't make me eat prawn crackers with like no, no, vodka. No, 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 no. Because I can't I do know, that. No, no, no. This Whereas I can. All the aspects. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'll take all one of the same. aspects. This is. I'm not being silly. This is serious. Mm-hmm. Okay. We need to take it to all the aspects. You can eat separately, no, so no. that all the aspects. All the aspects. Okay. This is uh, basil. Uh, because we haven't got this into it to say. The great mass detective. So I am gonna this is all gonna become clear very soon. Mm. Oh I love the smell of basil. Mm. Oh, I don't really. I okay. love it. I can't smell it yet. You Guys a, have you got a Scotch egg in there? <laughs> if you do oh. Savvy B. Oh Savvy B. Savvy B. <laughs> and I know it's early, but I didn't want to be left out. So Savvy B. Oh god yeah. Savvy so B. here's what's gonna happen. Savvy B first times three. I am so we've got the Savvy B, that's for the um that's ju- that's just basically for me. Um <laughs> It's not, it did not specify. But I don't find love after this. So I won't I know, know you must, my ass from my elbow. So I'm going to do you both a little. 
thing. Okay. Um, of course, I'm not going to waste good Savvy B. And you, do, you don't have to have a drink of Savvy B if you do Can't. not want. Let me tell you, in, in my head, like, I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> no, you, you don't. I can do it in water. But no, I no, I, no, I, I, I want fucking Savvy B. I'm going to drink mine up here. <laughs> we, should, we should have done a disclaimer yeah. before yeah. being like, there we will be. Done, yeah. So Savvy B. Potion got, alcohol. It's um, Clear Springs finest. Oh, lovely. Um, oh, our new sponsor. Yes. They <laughs> haven't confirmed. We haven't emailed them. But sponsored by Clear Springs. If you do want to sponsor us. Okay, so also strawberries are an aphrodisiac. Oh, gotcha. So oh, got have you got I'm an oyster in there as well? No, well, that, the oyster oh, is the I prawn see. cracker. Oh. I see. Now I'm so getting it. you can it. actually do the strawberry out of your prawn cracker. Please, Clear right? Spring, please sponsor them. <laughs> they need some help. <laughs> they need some help with the budget. <laughs> I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't order the things that I actually yeah. need, so I went to Sainsbury's. Do you know, this shop cost me just as much, actually. I think I can the smell the basil. Living. So I'm going to pop a guys, bit in there. Guys at home, can you smell the basil? We can't tell people because that's what I'll tell us off. Um, oh, do you want yeah. some basil in your wine or is that too far? Uh, do you know what? I, I'm going to use it to No, Hannah, you're the witch. You can't... Yeah, but I do want you to drink <laughs> it. So are you not going to drink it if I put basil in? Um, I, I'm in for a penny, in for a penny. Yeah, me too. We'll do yeah. a leak. We'll do a leak because I am going to need you to down this. Yeah. Oh, is it? All right, okay. Look, wow, look, okay. The, the pr- presentation But don't put this. loads... Yeah. No, I'm just going to put one leak. The bar flare. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... Okay, It's Jesus. like cocktail. So here we go. You it's have this. Hun dirty pint. Have that. Should I press have that? that. Don't Thank drink you. it just yet. Mm. Doesn't that look lovely? Oh, Jesus, how much wine is in there? It's what, leech? <laughs> little bottle. Oh, it actually smells oh, quite nice. Oh, listen, this is going to be that a That looks new. like a, a cocky tea. So yeah. we also have... Oh, sorry. I've trademarked that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I've actually trademarked it. Co- oh, well done. What have you trademarked? Cocky tea. Cocky tea for cocktail. Yeah. I've trademarked That's it. That's amazing. Um, I am going to sprinkle some of this in as well because straw- there's strawberry flavours. <laughs> Can nerds. we sprinkle, sprinkle some in? Yeah. Sprinkle yeah. some nerds in. as well, haven't we? Oh, God. Some, I'm going to come and do Someone's that. getting Ceremony. shagged tonight. <laughs> no, I can't wait. Oh, Where am I going tonight? Going to be in, but straight <laughs> drunk, straight, whatever. So there we go. Oh, God, yeah. Look Thank you. This, this is this is stunning. I think this is actually going to be really nice. Have they already come out? No. Oh, oh no! Yeah, yeah, they have. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. It actually right. smells lovely. It does. does it does. It? I'm sure what if this is going to be the new cocky tea? Yeah, true. That that's looks exciting, amazing. It? Right. Okay. I also have some chocolate because that's also very romantic, and these are Aero chocolate melts. Oh. I'm not putting and that in there. No, am I? you can eat it separately, like the prawn cracker. Oh. God okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so here's what what's comes first? Happen. I want you to eat the prawn cracker. The prawn cracker symbolises, much like the bread symbolises the body of Christ. This is going to symbolise the body of your new lover. A so prawny, do you take a, a prawn cracker. Don't yeah. they say um, a prawn is? Um, I'm sorry, but someone with a, a good incredible. body but a bad face. A pr- yeah, that's true, but that's not what's happening here. You're gonna have, you're gonna have. Okay, can so I start munching? You can start munching. Can I have you one? can start. Yeah, go ahead. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the, oh god, no. our listeners don't. No, like they're gonna that. come for us. Right. They're gonna <laughs> hate us. They're gonna absolutely. <laughs> we don't want them to come for us when we're trying to come ourselves. No, this is disappointing. We're not in wrappers, are we? No, they're the, you know, you know when the chocolate goes white because it's out of date. Oh, where'd you get that from? I've had, I've had worse than me, man. You try it, let us know, because it actually might not be. Right, okay, here's what's going to happen now. I need to take my earphones off. Okay. I'm going to try and speak loudly so that I can still be heard. I'm okay. feeling dead randa. Dead randa. <laughs> After this, you're going to be wanking on the street. <laughs> you're not going to be able to... If anyone sees off. a six-foot-four oh, wanker... Oh, my God, I'm so sorry, I forgot. How do we turn the lights down? How do we turn the lights down, Susan? Mm. How do we turn the lights down? Does anyone know? Yeah, yeah I can. Some, some tangles. Ambience. That lovely, lovely. Absolutely smashed it. Oh, it's okay. dead mood, dear. Oh, it's lovely, isn't Honestly. it? Honestly. Honestly, it's dead mood, dear. Honestly. I love Look feeling dead mood. Oh, my Look God. Oh, so sensual. Oh my god, it's like being in a spa, isn't it? Honestly, my loins are burning. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting fanny fluttered. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Wait till you get home later. Right, you can each hold a candle, please. Okay. You take this very seriously. I don't like this. You better be taking this seriously because I, I, not... I think this love potion is I've really told you intriguing. I've been at your wedding giving a speech saying that this is the reason why. You yeah. Make so, what I want you to do. Okay. Hold to my face, yeah. Okay, I'm going to smudge you over here with the basil. Oh, okay. Hannah's so just. I'm. Um, I'm sorry, for listeners, swiping basil swiping down the back basil. of my hair. Oh my god, that's okay. quite that's quite Susie, nice actually. Hannah. What I want you to do is take oh god, a sip basil. of yeah. your, your wine. Okay. Nerd, and I want you to think about your perfect man. Have a sip. Oh yeah, I've got off. him. I've got him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What does he look like? He looks like he's um been army trained. Army trained. Yeah. <laughs> so shout them out. 
I have oh, you have to shout, to shout it out. Train. Okay, yeah, yeah. To army trains, yeah. Army trains. Um, dark hair. Dark hair. Um, a, a, a bit of a smirk. A bit of a smirk. <laughs> oh, yeah. a lovely man. Okay, yeah. now you need to down your drink. Okay. And if you don't down it, it's not going to come true. I can't down all this wine. Is it nice? Down it. <laughs> come on. Is it gonna fuck it? I'm surprised Gareth still got his in his cup, to be honest. Oh, go on. I'll have a little sip. Okay, with Gareth, you next. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Smudging. Look oh, at that. Oh, that's that smell oh, that's lovely. lovely. Isn't it? That's... But Gareth, are you having dinner tonight at home? Because you can maybe take this with you and eat. It. Yeah. I know, yeah. So, so, so yeah, which like a bit of basil okay, and Gareth, bolognese. Are you, about your, are you thinking about the man? Your dream man? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah? What does he look like? Um, My celebrity crush is Callum Best. Callum Best! <laughs> <laughs> It's Callum Best. Oh, you haven't actually talked about your own boyfriend. Yeah, no, well. <laughs> Callum Best. Yeah. Excellent. Callum down Best. your wine. Down your wine. Oh, God, okay. God. This is all the... Chin, th- chin, hun. Is it nice? Mm. It actually is, you know. Is it? That Clear Springs mm. is so lovely. Is I hope it? Honestly, Clear Springs, Clear we're Springs. so thrilled to have you as our sponsor. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at um, that. I'll tell you what, a Clear Springs with a sprig of basil and a strawberry and a bit of nerds. Listen, yeah. what about that? Oh, well, actually, do you know what? I wouldn't mind, you know, a bit, a bit like nerdy nature. I like that. Oh, you like a nerd? Yeah. So basically, now what's going to happen is we've thrown it out into the universe. Yeah. Hum. 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 Susie, when you finish, as soon as you finish that that wine, yeah, your uh, your dream man is going to come to fruition. Really? Yeah. You're uh, you're probably going to meet him on the train home. But only if you finish the drink, otherwise it's not going to I've happen. got previous with meeting men on the tube. Have you? Yeah. Well, yeah, well. my first ever boyfriend I met on the tube when I was pissed. Coming really? Back. Oh, that's a really no, nice... No, actually, oh, there's, no, so there's two, two loads of beautiful as on TFL. <laughs> You're like, it's not even the love potion at this stage, it's just a bit of clear springs. Um, I think that draws us to the end of our epi. It does. Um, Gareth, thank you so much for being with us. Do you know what? Um, it's been amazing. Oh. Uh, to t- can, we, can I make a toast before we go? Uh, yes, oh my God, yes, of course. You can. Tatalia's crusty knickers. <laughs> Tatalia's crusty <laughs> knickers. <laughs> That's Yay! been episode 48, hon. So Thank you for having oh. us. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. bye, 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 bye. <laughs> oh, stunning. Oh. Thank, that was so much Oh, Gareth, you were so, so stupid. Fun.